Uh, hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video I'd like to show you um, a typical um, cooker uh, circuit in a kitchen. Uh, so I want to show you how to wire the hob, electric hob, how to wire the electric oven underneath, um, also what accessories to use, what cable and what MCB at the consumer unit. So as you see here is a kitchen drawing with the hood, uh, electric hob, uh, the oven underneath and also some switches and sockets. So first I think quite important is the distance between the um, hood and the hob. It should be something uh, not less than 65 centimeters but the best if you can check with the manufacturer um, in the user's manual. Also the sockets, the switches and uh, any accessories on the wall should be at least 30 centimeters from the hob as you know this is like working area uh, heats up and you don't want to burn the, the sockets or switches here okay so let's start with the uh, cooker circuit so here on the right side you've got the consumer unit let's move the um, the oven so somewhere above the worktop in easily accessible uh, place you should install a um, 45 amp double pole cooker switch so there's a wide range of uh, cooker switches in the shops. You can have the long one. Uh, obviously, the back box you need to move vertically. Um, or the small one, as you see, or even with the uh, single socket uh, on the side. So it doesn't matter which one you choose. Uh, the most important is it has to be 45 amps rated. Also, you need to install the 45 amp um, cooker connection unit. This is usually under the hob, under the worktop, and behind the oven. Um, this is the place, basically the unit is the place when you connect the, the cable from the hob or from the oven or from the cooker. Uh, so now let's put some cables. You need to run 6 mil cable twin and earth, uh, 6 mil twin and earth from the consumer unit to the double pole cooker switch. And also from the double pole cooker switch, <coughs> also 6 mil cable twin and earth to the cooker connection unit. And at the consumer unit, usually the 32 amp MCB is enough, uh, but sometimes you need uh, 40 amp MCB. It just depends on the, the load that you're going to connect uh, to the circuit. So now we can connect our hob to the cooker connection unit. Uh, some hobs come with the cable, mostly not, so then you have to uh, buy separate cable. They should be flexible, heat resistant, but to be honest with you, 90% of the uh, hops and uh, or the ovens connected to the cooker connection unit are just simply the same 6 mm twin and earth. Uh, so we've got our hop uh, wired. Now let's connect the oven. So if the new oven comes with the uh, cable with, with the plug at the end, a 13 amp 3 pin plug. Uh, so the only thing you need, you need a single socket behind the oven and you can plug it into it. And the single socket could be part of the uh, circuit, the ring circuit uh, in your kitchen. Or you can make a spare uh, from the you know, existing socket, and then install the FCU, fuse connection unit, and then run a 2.5 uh, twin inert cable to this socket. If the oven comes without any cable, uh, so then obviously you need to install, you need to connect one and um, it's probably more than three kilowatts uh, the load so uh, you can run a separate circuit to the oven or you can wire it exactly to the same cooker connection unit as the hob <coughs> and it's gonna uh, work on the same circuit the best if you can buy a dual cooker connection unit so then the two cables from one from the hob one from the oven are uh, safely terminated at the, con uh, the connection unit and now we need to do some calculation to make sure that the, uh, the load of the hob and the load of the um, oven combined be not too much for that circuit. <clears throat> so this is just a sample. Let's say this oven is 3.6 kilowatts and the hob 7.2 kilowatts. If we add these two together, so it's altogether 10.8 kilowatts. So 10,800 watts divided by the, by the voltage 240 volts that gives us the electrical current of 45 amps. 
and remember that the, uh, the consumer unit we've got still 32 amp MCB so this is far below the 45 amps this 45 amp maybe sounds a lot but you have to agree that nobody at home uses four rings of the hob at the same time and also the uh, oven at the same time as the hob and consider this uh, now we can apply to our calculation uh, diversity diversity you can apply to the circuits and hardwired appliances uh, cooking appliances at home so we're gonna do this uh, that's how you calculate diversity so our total current is 45 amps as we said so now uh, from the 45 amps you deduct first 10 amps so this gives us 35 amps the 35 amps uh, remaining uh, you just need to uh, multiply by 30 percent and this gives us 10.5 uh, amps 10 to this 10.5 amps you need to uh, add the first 10 amps that we deduct before so this gives us 20.5 amps and this should be end of the calculation but let's say we've got the uh, cooker switch with the uh, single socket on the side so this draw 5 amps current so we need to add this to the 20.5 uh, amps that we calculated and altogether the total current after diversity is 21 amps so the 32 amps MCB at the consumer unit is enough uh, for this circuit so the second part of this video is uh, about how to physically wire in the cooker connection unit but before that I'd like to say a big thank you to all of my subscribers there's already 39,000 this is a huge number for me it's really amazing so seriously thank you for supporting my channel I hope you enjoy my videos and find it useful you guys are great and thank you for watching my videos